Okay, nine months ago, I was hired to be Inter Miami's new manager as my first head coaching job. Since then, we've signed players like Lino Messi, Jordi Alba, Sergio Busquets, Luis Suarez, and even Andres Iniesta, while also maybe finding the next Holland in Sammy Jorgensen. Now, our goal? Make Inter Miami the best team in MLS. We've already won the US Open Cup, we won the Supporters' Shield, and today we go for the big one, the MLS Cup, as the MLS playoffs are about to begin. So drop a like down below if you're enjoying this series, and let's get back into it. Okay, today we're waking up bright and early in the morning, because today is our first playoff match. Now, we're the favorites to win it all, so there's more pressure on us. So we brush our teeth, we get dressed, we of course gotta say what's up to Fergie, we get some breakfast, and then sit down to scout our first matchup in the MLS playoffs. It's gonna be Atlanta United. But okay, first comment, I think you should make an ES to play as a deep playmaker as he is slow. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of what he plays already. Like we saw in the last episode, he might be old, but his passing is still insane. And uh, with that 48 pace, now in his career, he's naturally a deep playmaker. Next one, I think Portugal will be a good spot to manage. There's a lot of good youth come out of there. And they have Europe, so you can spend a couple seasons and push for Europe. Yeah, so what are we gonna do beyond this season? Do we stay at Inter Miami for another year or try and make our way into Europe? We might find out in this episode. If you go to another team, the first play you should sign should be Jorgensen. Yeah, I mean, I would love to bring Jorgensen to our next team whenever that is, but I feel like we gotta do it if it makes sense. Like, whatever team we go to next, look at that team and say, would an MLS Wonder Kid join this team? So I would like to, but it can get a little complicated. But okay, since we were the first seed in the Eastern Conference, we basically skipped uh, the very first round. So we go straight to the conference semifinals, in which we are facing Atlanta United in the first matchup of the playoffs for us. And hey, we know they have Tiago Almada, which is like one of the best Wonder Kids in MLS. So this could be actually a very interesting game. Now, in our press conference before this game, we say our team has been working to get here all year long. This is where the games matter the most. We're a few wins away from the MLS final, and we are absolutely ready for the playoffs to begin. So we go with our strongest 11. Everyone is ready for the playoffs, and our road to the MLS Cup final starts right now. Now, in the regular season, Messi led the league in scoring and also assisting. So if he keeps playing like that, we have a very good chance of at least making the MLS Cup final. So we are kicked off. The MLS playoffs officially begin. This is going to be interesting. Come on, we need a good start. Score the first goal of the game. Settle the nerves down a little bit. If we do that, we'd be in very good shape, which ball in to Messi. Messi finesse shot. Okay, that went off some guy's face. Suarez tries to destroy the keeper, but doesn't quite do it. Iniesta to Stefanelli, gives it to Leo. Leo is going to get it to Andres Iniesta. Man, he's still looking for his first goal. Messi's not, though. Messi hits the post. Okay, that could have been a very fast start. Okay, we just got caught in behind so bad, but Navas saves us. I don't know how those Atlanta players got him behind. That makes me a bit scared. All right, Messi to Stefanelli. Suarez, oh, he's just offside. I needed him to stop for a second. Wait, is he still onside? Wait, Suarez was onside there? I thought he was off. Oh, man, we hit the post again, though. Okay, we've hit the post twice in the first 15 minutes. Come on, it's the start I wanted, just no goal yet. But so far, I like what I've seen. Pretty out, but it's Stefanelli once again. We are finding space in their back line. Stefanelli, I'm gonna cross it. Okay, Messi should have gotten that spot. It's actually not a bad cross. It's dangerous. Oh, Almada gets by there. Somehow, we don't make that tackle. Kristoff made a tackle. The ball was just glued to Almada's foot. And Thiago Almada strikes again. I can't believe it. We are down 1-0. Bro, we made the tackle. Kristoff, he just couldn't get it from him. That's so unfortunate. Okay, we don't score our chances at the post. Now we're down 1-0. We need a response, a fast one. Yedlin to Suarez. Suarez gets it out to Jorgensen. Jorgensen can go for something. He's gonna go to Messi instead. Messi. We'll try and turn. Okay, Messi just got ran over there. You're telling me that's not a foul? Or as to Jorgensen? Come on, boys. I think this equalizer is right there for us. Messi shot. Guzan makes the save. All right, Messi. Good corner. Actually, great corner. That is Kristoff. Almost makes up for his uh, lack of tackling. Come on, Messi again. Someone get to it. Kristoff gets to it again, and it goes over the net. Okay, we're close to tying this up, though. Now, I don't think I mentioned it, but these games are a single game elimination, so there's only one left. So this game, it's win or go home. And if the game ended right now, we would be going home. Come on, boys. Don't do this. Busquets misses the tackle. Navas makes the save, though. Okay, we got to wake up. Jorgensen gets it to Suarez. Suarez the Yedlin into Jorgensen. Jorgensen. Oh, man, that pass was a little messed up. Suarez. Gets it to Messi. Messi over to Andres Iniesta. And Andres Iniesta finally scores. Oh my, his first goal for the club and ties this up. Now, that was some beautiful passing though. Like, these are some triangles and then Messi gets the assist. That first time pass. Iniesta though, finally scores. He had like, I don't know, six chances to score in the last episode. Didn't score. But his first goal is a very big one. This game is tied up now. Okay, let's take control of this game. Okay, halftime. It's tied up. We got a big next 45 minutes ahead of us. Okay, Jordi Alba is driving forward. We got Messi and Suarez. Messi. Might get into a better spot. He does. Messi will shoot. And Guzan saves it again. And Messi feels like he's up for it today, though. Messi cross in. That is a beautiful cross from Messi. Goes to Stefanelli. Stefanelli volley attempt. Okay, that was going nowhere. But Suarez controls it. Gets it to Stefanelli. Stefanelli all trying to find some angle. Messi gets it back. 
to Jordi Alba. Right foot of finesse shot. Okay, that defender literally just kicked it up to the keeper. I am not sure about that. Jordi Alba definitely finds. Oh, Messi was almost in there. I saw that. It was going to be 2-1. Oh, man. Busquets missed the tackle, but Kristoff. Kristoff does enough there to get the ball out. And Atlanta United are playing actually very good this game. They're giving us a good fight. Now, Messi to Suarez. Oh, Messi. That pass was just insane. Suarez. Please score this. Suarez will score that. Okay. Messi's passing and scoring is just so insane. Suarez has the finish, and this is 2-1. Bro, it's like every goal starts or ends with Messi. It's one of the two. Suarez, very timely finish, though. Okay, one goal lead. We got, like, 30 minutes left. Let's score that third and really just seal this. Rodiaba into Messi. Messi gets it over Iniesta. Back to Messi. Okay, what are we doing here, boys? Gets it over to Iniesta. Iniesta will shoot, and Guzan makes the save. This is so close to being over. Messi, that is a great cross. Suarez, oh, man, I thought he was going to get that. All right, Iniesta goes out to Stefanelli. Okay, Guzan, how did he save that and pass it out with the same motion? I've never seen a save like that. Suarez to Iniesta. Oh, man, I was looking for Messi there. All right, first subs, Mota on for Iniesta, and then Martinez on for uh, Stefanelli. Now we get a corner here. Messi, where is the delivery? Messi, delivery is so good. No one gets to it, though. Miller. Back out to Leo. Leo, come on. Pick out Suarez. Ding the box. Jorgensen. Okay, how does Jorgensen not get that? We got 10 minutes, of course. We're just defending a one-goal lead. The most stressful thing a manager can go through. Iniesta, great ball to Messi. Messi, trying to find some room. Gets it out to Jorgensen. Jorgensen, get it back to Messi. Messi, oh, man. They've defended well in this game, totally. Okay, that is ball behind. Miller, I need you. Miller, I need you. He catches up. Miller, Miller, that is such good defending. We got three minutes to defend. Kristoff, oh, no. That's one of those lucky bounces. And they just hit side netting. Okay, that was very dangerous. We got two minutes, though. We got 30 seconds, I think. We might have held on to this lead. Yes, we have. We're going to win 2-1. Man, that was close. They hit side netting there. It could have been tie game into extra time, but we beat Atlanta United. Now we head to, I believe it's the semifinals, but it's the conference finals. The game before the MLS Cup final. And this one right here was tough. Now, after that game, Messi gives a post-game interview, and he says he feels like he's playing some of the best football of his career right now. And he's very happy the team got the win, and that we'll be ready for the conference finals now. And I mean, hey, Messi is not lying. 39 games he's got 24 goals and 24 assists that's what i'm saying all of our goals either start or end with messi it feels like we're unlocking prime messi here in this formation in this team and with a prime Lionel messi our chance for the mls cup final just goes up exponentially but before the conference finals we have a little talk with david beckham now he says your contract is going to expire at the end of the season we would love to have you back for another year no matter what happens in these playoffs have you thought about what you want to do and we say right now i'm focused on the mls cup i'm not thinking about anything else so we'll talk after the playoffs end which now it's time for the conference finals we are facing fc cincinnati now they finished six in the regular season so it's kind of a shock they've gotten this far but hey if we win this game we will be in the mls cup final we are only one win away from that come on i want to be in that final so bad if we lost here it would be pretty much a disaster and then i'm not even sure what teams will be interested in us in europe if at all so we gotta prove that we can take a team like this and then win come on boys we got to win this we need everyone to show up and play their best now if i remember right i think we faced uh, cincinnati early in the season and i'm pretty sure they gave us a really good fight so maybe their sixth place spot isn't that actually indicative of how good they are Jordi Alba though into Iniesta Iniesta is gonna find Suarez your Suarez great turn gets it to Messi Messi dribbling takes a shot and keeper saves it that's gonna be a corner okay not that bad of a start Messi corner in that's kind of beautiful but oh it can't get to anyone gets it back to Leo Leo is gonna try and stop it'll be another corner okay, I'm gonna try to go for like a really wide corner here it's actually beautiful again how could no one get to these corners Messi's given such good delivery Messi that first touch is interesting. Okay, that's going to go out to Jordi Alba. He shoots, and okay, what a save. This has been a very chaotic start, but another corner. Come on, Miller. I know you got that. Oh, I guess not. Header is going to get it to Stefanelli. Volley attempt. Oh, that could have fell to Suarez, actually. Okay, somehow we don't score in all that madness. Now, that's a good ball in behind. Yedlin is nowhere to be found. Miller, we'll get to that. Miller, good defending. Jorgensen easily wins that header. Suarez to Messi. Messi, we find Suarez. Get it to Iniesta, actually. Iniesta. Oh, they're dribbling there by Iniesta. Once again, the man doesn't need pace, but we do because Vasquez is in and they are going to score the first goal in this game. Okay, we lost it. And how is Vasquez that much quicker than my center backs? I mean, maybe he is. I don't know. We just got caught him behind though. Oh man, I wish Miller was uh, close to him, not Kristoff. Okay, just like the last game, we are down 1-0 in what? 18 minutes. That is not the start we wanted. Come on, we need a quick response. Tie it up immediately. Jordi Alba in to Stefanelli. Over to Messi. Messi. In the box, dangerous. Outside the boot from Lionel Messi. Okay, this is tied up within three minutes. That is the response I wanted. What a shot by Messi. Say it once again, if we unlock Prime Messi, we will win the MLS Cup. We just need to unlock him. 1-1 in the 22nd minute. Bro, how are they in behind like this? How are they in behind like this? Oh, 
How does that ball get through my defenders? That makes no sense. It is 2-1 to FC Cincinnati. I slid with Kristoff to get the block and the ball just perfectly went between him and uh, Miller. How unfortunate is that? Okay, Cincinnati are giving us an absolute battle here. It's 2-1. That makes me sick though. I don't get how they're getting in behind so easily though. Like no team has done this to us. Jorgensen gets it to Messi. Now we're upset. Messi over to Luis Suarez. Oh, I thought he would be able to turn there. Jorgensen to Messi. Messi turns. That defender is left in the mud. Now, Messi over to Sammy Jorgensen. How does he not win that header either? I am concerned with what I am seeing. And that is halftime. Man, we are down 2-1. And we totally should not be. We should be up 1-0 right now. Is this where the journey ends or are we actually going to come back? We got 45 more minutes. Okay, they got a free kick. That's actually some decent delivery, but Kristoff gets it out. And now we can counter off this maybe. Messi out to Jorgensen. Now, Jorgensen is on his bicycle. Jorgensen tries to get it to Suarez. Oh, how does that ball not get through? Come on, where is my Inter Miami team? I feel like we're not playing like ourselves right now. All right, time is running out quickly for us. Just one step at a time. Just tie this up. Jordi Alba's got space. Stefanelli gets it over to Messi. Messi, chance to shoot, and Messi ties this game up. Everything starts or ends with Lionel Messi. This game is 2-2. Oh man, we needed this so badly. Messi, good dribbling there. Finds a little angle, and of course, he's going to score. Okay, 2-2. Two, two, we got 20 minutes left. All right, first sub, Gene Mota on for Iniesta again. Now, they have a corner, and they took it short, which is very dangerous because that's in the box. That's going to fall, and that goes barely over the net. Oh, if they would have scored that, I would have been so mad. Jorgensen. Jorgensen. What a ball to Luis Suarez. Suarez takes his time, and he scores. Oh, my. I was not expecting that pass from Sammy Jorgensen, but this is 3-2. That through pass was perfect. Bro, Sammy picks it up and then sees Suarez, and it's just perfectly paced into him. And then Suarez waits for the keeper to move. He does, and then takes his shot right between his arm, pretty much. Okay, 3-2. Oh, man. We got about 13 minutes left. Come on, boys. Take control of the game now. Oh, man. Good ball in behind. I'm trying to block that pass. I'm trying to block it. It gets through. Navas save. And Navas will grab it. Oh, my. Navas, that is such a big save again. Definitely up to Leo Messi. Messi, good first touch. Messi in the box. Messi first hat trick. Okay, I had to shoot that. It's Messi. I trust him shooting more than anyone else. Okay, Messi just stole that. Now, this should be a pass into Luis Suarez. And okay, how does the keeper save that? We got two minutes. Messi, corner in. To seal the game, maybe Suarez can't reach it. Get it to Messi. Now, Messi, I need you to be strong. Hey, it wasn't that strong. We got seconds left. That is it. Jordi Alba gets it to Leo. Leo, could seal it here, maybe, too. Luis Suarez, he will shoot. Suarez, Suarez, how do you put that wide? I am sick to my stomach. Oh, man, I just, I don't get how you put that shot wide. I don't get it. Thankfully, we have 20 or actually 15 seconds. Juan Ref, blow the whistle. Have we booked our ticket to the MLS Cup final? Yes, we have. Oh, man, another close game. But Suarez, Jorgensen, and especially Lionel Messi help us get the job done, and we are now heading to the final. These two games have been so stressful, though. These playoffs are insane. All right, so we beat Cincinnati, and then LAFC beat Real Salt Lake. So the MLS Cup final is Inter Miami versus LAFC. Now, a few days later, we're at the store getting some groceries, and we get a notification on our phone, a tweet from Fabrizio Romano. And the tweet is about us saying that multiple European teams are interested in hiring us as their next manager. Now, our dream is to go to Europe eventually and be a coach, but we can't focus on this right now. We have an MLS Cup final to win, so we'll think about this after the final. And now, David Beckham holds a press conference before the MLS Cup final. He says winning the MLS Cup would mean everything to Inter Miami. To be the best team in the MLS would be a dream come true and be something he's thought about since he founded Inter Miami. And also, he's excited for the final. So our whole season comes down to just one final game. There is LAFC with Carlos Vela and Chiellini. Our team Team is ready for this so if we win this mls cup final we will be the best team in mls come on in our first year as a coach and messi's first year in, in the mls we have a chance to do something special by winning that beautiful trophy and it would be our third trophy of the year which would be insane that's the treble i guess the american treble i don't know what you call it but this is our chance to prove that we can take a team and win on the biggest stage at least in this country so we are absolutely ready for this and our whole journey comes to this point we're gonna see if we can win this trophy now now we have conceded first in every game so far today so can we not let that happen in this game because in a cup final we can have that bit of a start but right now this is looking like it might be a bad start Jordi Alba that is actually very good defending and okay, we can't let him just chill in our box though we can't let him chill in our box okay Navas makes a save I think I don't know what that was they almost just scored though Yedlin up to Suarez Jorgensen is making his run Suarez is gonna find 
Sammy Jorgensen cuts inside, shoots, and Sammy Jorgensen scores. Oh, man. The next Erling Holland, our Youth Academy star, scores the first goal in the MLS Cup final. The way he took that was beautiful. And for once, we don't concede first in a game today. Man, the first touch, get by that first defender, and then left-footed shot. That is very Erling Holland-esque. Okay, 1-0 in the 14th minute. That is finally a good start. Now, don't ruin this start with a bad defensive play. Kristoff, that was a good defensive play. Come on, finally a good start. Let's keep it going. Iniesta. Isn't it? Oh, try to find Suarez. That almost got through. And LAFC are playing with a very high line. They are playing very aggressive defensively. So as long as you don't make mistakes, we might be good. Now, this ball is a very good ball through Miller. Miller, I need you to make a tackle here, Miller. Miller, somehow that ball was glued to that guy's feet, which is not good to see. It's going to be a shot, maybe. It's going to be a shot. And Yedlin makes a good block. All right, Yedlin is probably our worst defender, but that was a good play. And they just look very good attacking-wise. This game is going to be tough for our defense because right now, Carlos Vela's in. Jordi Alba saves us. That is a great cross in. Okay, DeAndre Yedlin is up for this game today. And Messi gets it out. Bro, I didn't know Yedlin could jump that high. Man, they're coming right back though. Navas, good save. Please clear it. Please clear it. Okay, that's going to be a goal kick. Okay, we survived that little spell. That was uh, desperate defending, but it worked. Come on, Jorgensen. Can we have a quick response? Jorgensen is going to go for a power shot. Okay, that thing had so much power on it. Keeper saves it though. Bro, how does he get him behind? I don't get it. I'm going to try to block that pass. I'm going to try to block it all the way. And thankfully that worked because the shot's right at Navas. We can't let him get him behind that easily, though. You're going to send a Yedlin. Yedlin into Messi. Messi. Great turn. Okay. I wanted it to go to Suarez, but you know what? This works for now. It works for now. Jordi Alba. Crossover. Messi's going to try to get to it. Okay. Man, that cross was to no one, though. And that is halftime. This game is very close. The 1 0 no scoreline. We're in the lead, at least, but it's still very close. 45 more minutes to decide who is the best team in the MLS. Bro, Yedlin is just. He's defensively. He just struggles so much. He's definitely our weakest point. Because just look at that. He makes me so nervous whenever he's defending. Corner in. That is uh, that is definitely a good clearance. Get it out again. Sergio Busquets. Okay, that's a bad clearance. That needs to be to the left. Miller. Miller will always save the day. He always does. Definitely to Leo. Leo's got space. Leo gets it to Luis Suarez. Suarez stops. Tries to get it back to Iniesta. Iniesta will shoot. Deflected right back to the keeper. Man, that's not exactly what I wanted to do. Okay, Busquets going a good run into Messi. Messi will shoot. And was that saved off the post? Okay, how do we not score that one? Come on, don't let them tie this up. Kristoff, good tackle. Ball still glued to his feet. Kristoff, Kristoff, a great second tackle. Somehow that went it back though? Bro, this game is far from over. You can just tell. Oh, that's a great ball in behind. And thankfully, he is offside because that looks so bad. Jordi Alba gets it to Messi. Messi's going to stop. Patience will be rewarded. Jordi Alba gets it back to Leo. Leo into Stefanelli. Over to Iniesta. Iniesta into Luis Suarez. Patience has been rewarded. That is 2-0. Oh, man. Messi, Iniesta, Jordi Alba, and Suarez all combining to give us a two-goal lead in the MLS Cup final. Man, that was absolute patience there. Suarez, I mean, in the end, it's an easy finish. We found that space. Okay, we got 20 minutes left. We are in prime position right now. Come on, don't let them even have a sniff back in this game. Jordi Alba tackle. Wait, that was a foul there. Oh, they're going to check it back. Wait, I guess they're not. I was like, that's not a foul. Oh, you got to be kidding me. They are going to get through. Shot. And they are going to score one with six minutes left. Bro, the, the unfortunateness we've had in the episode, I can't believe it, honestly. The fact that this ball bounces and then it's when our back line is pushing up and this guy has a free chance to shoot. Six minutes, one goal lead. All we have to do now is just hold it. Good tackle, Jordi Alba. Okay, we need to make some subs. Once again, the same subs. Iniesta off for Jean Mota and then Martina is on for Stefanelli. Literally two minutes and some change left and we will be crowned maybe the champions. We just defend this. Jordi Alba, great tackle. Okay, they got a free kick. It's 30 seconds though. If we just win this header, we might win it. Header goes back into our third and that is full time. We have won the MLS Cup. Oh man, that was like each three games in the playoffs were also stressful. These were some great playoff games. But in the end, the team that favorites us got the job done. Sammy Jorgensen, Luis Suarez scored the goals, but we know the man right there with the armband, Lionel Messi, is the reason we got this done. Because without Messi playing like Prime Messi, this team does not get to the final, nor win it. So in our first ever year as a manager, we won the US Open Cup, the Supporters Shield, best record in MLS. And then all the the way to the very end the final we get the job done and messi will lift the mls cup and what a beautiful thing to see Lionel messi lifts the mls cup for inter miami in his first year in our first year what a season i mean that's the american trouble i'll call it that i mean when you got a team like this you should be the favorites to win that's obvious well you still got to win on the field and that's what we've done so one final time looking at it Lionel messi prime Lionel messi lifting the mls cup for inter miami it is beautiful so after the final we give a post game interview and we say we are so proud of our team it was such a long road to get here but we could not be more happy with how the team played out on the pitch the younger players the older players everyone came through now in the dressing room messi comes up 
to us. And he says that he's enjoyed us being his coach so much this season that he's had a few different coaches, obviously. And if we keep getting better, he thinks we could be a very, very special coach. And he says, no matter what you decide, either to stay or leave for Europe, we're going to stay in touch. And obviously this could not have been done without Lionel Messi. Final stats, 41 games, 26 goals and 24 assists. The absolute MVP of this team. Then Suarez, 21 goals. That's insane. He played so good. Uh, Stefanelli was surprised. Actually, the third top scorer in the team, which is good. Jorgensen, eight goals in 19 games. He definitely came on towards the end of the year. So it was an amazing season. That is three trophies in our first year. But now we're going to talk about our future. Are we staying at Inter Miami? So a few days later, we meet with David Beckham and he says winning these three trophies this year was a dream come true for him. So he thanks us for our contributions. And he says, because of that, whatever you decide, I will support you. Now we tell him we thank him for giving us an opportunity to manage here. To start our career managing such an insane team. But we've made our decision regarding next season. For season two, our decision will be revealed in the next episode. So stay tuned for that. If you enjoyed, drop a like down below. I'd appreciate it. We got a new Zlatan player career episode over on Tyster Plus. I mean, you see the thumbnail. Something big happened. So click on screen for that. And as always, hope you guys have a great day.